Good afternoon. Welcome to Grain TV. It's January 21st, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Cody Bills to help break down the trade action that we saw here Tuesday, one day after Martin Luther King Day holiday break. Let's jump into the quotes here and see where the grains ended. Corn picking up one penny. Uh, last trade here was at 425. Soybeans, the big talk of today's action, trading down 36 cents. Last trade here was at 1280 and a half. Very quiet day in wheat uh, in contrast to soybeans. Down a penny uh, and change in Chicago, off two cents in Kansas City. Cody, you know, a lot of people were talking about precipitation out of South America kind of driving the soybean market. Let's take a look here at the map. You can see that in northern Argentina, we do have some good rain events today. There's also some expectations that we could see more good precipitation Wednesday into Thursday of this week. But, you know, to be honest, looking at this story here uh, about the precipitation events in South America, a little surprising to me that we saw the March contract off 36 cents if that's what was pushing things. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think really when we're looking at South America, we got to look at both corn and soybeans. I think yeah. corn was uh, like more of a, of a story here for right. precipitation, yet corn didn't move. I really think that this market movement uh, was more a result of the fact that following the USDA report, we were able to rally up. Now, we had another report that was coming out that was expecting to be relatively bullish. Right. We came, that was the NOPA crush numbers. They came out, they were very positive. Now, after that report, what do we have to go forward? You know, What sort of positive bullish news do we have yeah. uh, to carry this market higher? I don't think we saw much. I think the only thing on the horizon is switching sales uh, from the U.S. books to South American books. That's relatively bullish. And now we find ourselves back trading almost at the level uh, prior to the WASDE report. Yeah, you know, like you said, Cody, really not a big move out of corn today. If we take a look here at the daily March contract, you can see that we're just kind of drifting lower after a good move following the January USDA report. Technically, right now on this chart, it looks like that 420 area is kind of shaping up to be an important price level. Coming into the report, we made a strong move below it. Uh, the, the very bullish report released from the USDA helped propel the market back above it. I wouldn't be surprised if that area 420 was able to hold on March here moving forward. You know, if we remember that USDA report, about 200 million bushels uh, lower in projected ending stocks than what the trader is expecting. I think that's tangible looking at corn. Uh, so keep an eye on that 420 mark here moving forward. And precipitation, as you said in general, Cody, that should be more of a corn story. Right now we do have the Argentinian crop entering pollination. So that's going to continue to drive the corn market. But a very bearish day today uh, in terms of soybeans. We'll have to see what the reaction is tomorrow. Big reports coming down the pipe this week. We have ethanol numbers out tomorrow. And we'll have export sales on Thursday. Tune in to Grain TV. We'll help break it down for you then. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.